What's up guys? In this video, I'm gonna show off how to remint MetaBots. So we're gonna take two original MetaBot NFTs and create a second generation MetaBot, which will derive its parts from the parts of its parent. We'll show those parts on chain and then we'll show off the functionality that actually costs a fungible token called MetaCoin in order to do so. Let's get into it. Out here on the MetaBot.world site, this is where we can view information about the various MetaBots as well as the reminting function. So I'll just, I've written about this before on BitPost as well as CoinGeek. So you guys can, I'll link to those articles in the description of the video. So you guys can check that out. I won't rehash that here. So let's go to this component tab up here. So here are the ultimate MetaBots. These were 15 sort of curated special MetaBots that people could buy initially. I think these were auctioned off. So there were about 15 that were auctioned at, uh, that let users bid against one another and they went for pretty high prices. And then there were, in addition to these, there were 15 bots that, special bots that you could fuse based off the different parts. So based off a certain combination, which is random, they could achieve um, a certain meta bot. So again, that's just something that kind of happened when this first launched back in October, the reminting functionality, but that's kind of, that's kind of a short history there. So what we really want to get into is this remit. So here we can see I have an MC balance of around 3000. So it's going to cost around 500 meta coin to do a preview. So I'm going to take two different meta bots. So I can, I have to at least have one first generation one. So there were 999 originally sold on the Showpace team NFT marketplace. And the floor for those, I haven't checked in a while, but I think it's somewhere around three or four BSV. But those originally went for anywhere from 0.3 to 0.9 BSV, something like that. And so you need at least one first generation MetaBot. So one of those original 999. And then you can, the second one to fuse can be the another first generation or it can be a child metabot aka a second generation one so let's just take a look here so here i have to pick one of my three metabots so i'll choose the one that i've been using for my avatar number 165. here i can choose you see i have the option i can choose either one of the first generation ones or i can choose one of these second ones so some of these i've fused myself a couple I bought on the secondary market. Those are much cheaper and I'll show where we're at with that. I think the floor is still around 0.2 BSV. So I'm gonna choose this one because, so I bought this one hoping to kind of create a more unique MetaBot here. This reminted number. So the team, the Showpay team is capping the amount of second generation MetaBot supply based off a proportion of 10% to the current number of meta ID users. So we can just check this real quick. Let's go to scan.meta.meta.id.io. And you can see here, there's around 21,000 total number of meta IDs, right? So if I go back to the MetaBot site, you can see that that's the cap. So right now we're, there's 23 shorts. So only 23 child MetaBots can be created at this moment in time. 2,164 have been already created. And this is why I wanted to do this video a while ago, but there was a cap on the number of users. Since they've introduced some revenue stuff in their own token, the number of users has increased. So now I'm able to attempt to remit here. Okay, so let's attempt this remit here. So I'm gonna press the button and we'll get a dialogue to have us confirm spending the MC, the MetaCoin required, as well as the BSV mining fee to pay for the transaction. So it'll take a bit here for the dialogue. So here it goes. We'll say confirm. And we're spinning. So we're gonna we're generating on the fly here. We'll see what kind of combo we get. It'll take a bit and it should pop up down here. And at that point, so I've already paid the 500 at once this finishes. So here we go. So I got a combo. And you can see the rarity combo. Um, I don't fully understand that. But um, there's seven potential combinations based off the um, parts from the parent. So here I can create it. So I'll go ahead and do that. So let's create it. And I can name it on the fly. And this name goes on chain, which is super cool. So I'll call this something like, uh, let's just, 
it kind of looks like schwa right so we'll just call it schwa bot and let's create and this one's going to cost me a thousand meta coin as well as the bsv mining fee i actually like this combo it's pretty good so what i'm going to do here so let's confirm this is i have the show pay team launched a revenue share mining program with their native token so in the comments of this youtube video i did i tried to do this on twitter and only two people signed up so they'll still be eligible for this giveaway so what i'm going to do is lead sign up for the show app via my referral link and i'll know because i can see inside my app who signed up leave your uh, show s.sv pay mail in the comments section make sure you sign up through my link and i'll pick a random person and give this schwab bot away and you guys can have your meta bot at avatar on chain so it's taking a while here but hopefully it'll create here soon so um you know i want to incentivize people to try this app out because it is really cool there's lots of stuff you can do in there i know the chinese might off put people but most of the apps have an english option to where you know you can translate and it'll just change the language for all the text in there automatically for you so um hopefully this finishes here and um We'll be able to give this thing away and then i can demonstrate yep so here it goes so we get get a nice little card here that i have which is you know i can share on social media so um i think i can just click the share button Let's see here yeah and i can download it which is nice so i'll download that and i'll hit confirm so now i have it it's casted right so now let's go into the nft on show let's go to my profile so um, here, this is one. This is one of the second generation Metabots I casted a couple months ago, and I named this one because he's smoking. He's got this weird hat on. And he's looking suspicious. So I named it Suspicious Individual, right? So if I go down here, I can see the issue TX ID. If I click check, it's going to take me to what's on chain, and here we can see some of the metadata on chain, right? So you can see here's the name I gave it, and that's on chain. The receiver address, that's my show address. And this is just some metadata about the metabots in general. As the parent metadata, a flag saying that it is a second generation, which is one. And some more parent metadata. And then here you see the parts. So we just kind of have some hex values here of the parts. Now, interestingly, if I go to, let's go back to my, all my NFTs here. So you can see I'm pretty active in this ecosystem. So let's find, I wanna find one of my first generation ones. Okay, this was it. So here's one, one of the, yeah, here are my first generation ones. So let's pull up this one right here. So this is number 150. And if I go into the chat here, here we can see it doesn't it just has the name because this is the show pay team originally minted these they're the issuer right but here you can see the icon so this meta file this is actually the um, picture of it so if i go to say bico.media and paste this in it should bring up the picture of the meta bot oh interesting so it doesn't um do that please use this meta point which doesn't work okay so that didn't work. Um, let's see here. Anyway, that's on. That's the, that is the file that's on chain. It's act. It is on chain. Um, you can see the website here, the metabot.world. The issuer name is the Showpay team. And where's the part? Let me control. Yeah. So here's the part, and here's the hex value, right? So that was the parent. And you know, I'm sure if we compare these, we can see some similarities. But to, to sum it up, I think I believe there's seven parts. So these different hex values, this right here by two for each two set of two characters form the parts. Now there, I think there if they the team hasn't released the mapping table, um, I think they will eventually, and that should be available on the metabot.world site. But um, you, I think that's pretty cool. I think that's kind of something that has been talked about a bit with some of the different NFT projects. In my opinion, this has to be on chain so that people can reference it, right? Because then people can build apps 
and they can interpret these things, right? So for example, um, when the uh, when this first launched, the founder of the Shopei team, he mentioned how, okay, some of these have arms, but my bots don't have arms. None of the bots that have been sold on the marketplace have arms. But you could imagine that that could happen in the future, right? You would simply have a transaction that appends to these parts and then they could be different. And then people could make apps that interpret this and say, oh, well, these arms have a rocket launcher attached to them. And then this bot has more attack power than the other one. And this bot's eyes give it more intelligence. You could do all kinds of crazy stuff. So this is the type of stuff that I think folks were envisioning with building on blockchain, right? And that's why I've been so fascinated with the meta bots is because it is a good first implementation of that vision. Now we haven't seen this type of stuff yet, but I hope we do moving forward here. So that's kind of what I wanted to show off. So as I mentioned, um, yeah, you can see, so I have my show money wallet here. It should be in here. Let's uh, refresh this and we should be able to see the short bot. We'll take a bit here to load, but let's go to my NFT. And yep, so we got four. And there it is. So there's the Schwab bot that I just minted. And you can see that that's done. So as I mentioned, um, in my referral link, I'll post that in the description. Also, I will also pin a comment, sign up through there and leave your show pay show SV pay mail that you'll see in your app. And I'll do a giveaway to one random of my uh, subscribe or, you know, people who watch this video and I'll also tweet this out. Feel free to leave it there and I'll just compile this and give one away. Oh, I, I did want to show off the marketplace. So yeah, so I've sorted here. So we can see the floor is 0.2 BSV, which is pretty cheap, much cheaper than the parent metabots, right? So, you know, here, these are very affordable that you can get and you can set as your avatar in the show app like I've done here. So you can see that, that it's across apps, right? So I scroll up here. You can see my avatar shows there as well as up here on three different sites, which is pretty cool and all the same login. Okay, and let's let's go ahead and take a look at the first generation. Let's see if we can see the floor prices here. Maybe not. But you can see these ultimate ones, they went for really high prices, 97 BSV. 136 so you know kind of crazy but yeah unfortunately we can't sort on this market okay that's all i wanted to cover guys i hope you guys found this video interesting and i'll see you guys in the next one bye